the final tutorial for the additional modeling tools. Then the next one, we're going to start a new project and so forth. All right? So we're going to go again, start a part. And we're going to start making a plastic casing. So we're going to start by first creating the feature. So we're going to start our template like we've done before. And we're going to draw on the XZ plane. Oh, sorry. Yeah, XZ. Now we're going to draw the profile. So you can draw it. I guess we can make a... Hmm. A rectangle, right? That would be the easiest one to do. Rectangle with the point in the center. Go like so. And we're going to go type in 14. No, sorry, 20. Tab by 14. So we have this lovely box. And we're going to press OK, Enter. So now we have the box. Then what we, can we do? We can delete these. Or we could convert into construction lines, which is right over here, right? Oops, the one. So now we did that as well. So what can we do next? We can make a arc. Thank you. Which one should we use? You don't want to use the center? Wouldn't that work? Wouldn't that be? I oh, know you're right. Three point. So we we'll do start and and the radius is going to be thirty. Can we mirror to the other side? Yes, let's do, let's do some mirroring tools. Mirror from this point. I don't have a point in the middle. So this guy, here's my piece. My mirror line is going to be, no, what we're going to do is this. We're just, sorry? Center line. I'm just going to draw a center line quickly. Like that. We'll do this one. I know, but just so we don't lose everybody in the class. Where's the mirror? Mirror. Select this piece over here. It seems at this point it was faster for us just to draw this arc. There we go. Do we need to keep this? We can leave it. I'll make it go more up, higher up in the middle like this. Nope. I'll leave it like that. Okay, it's good. So we have our dimensions. We have a 20. Our angles are 30. And our height is 14 over here. We're going to finish the sketch. The next we're going to do is we're going to extrude it up. So what's the distance we should do is 3.15. And now we're going to go to the more option, and we're going to start tapering this object. We're going to go to the more, and we're going to use the taper option. The taper, we're going to put it at negative 10. So if you notice, it kind of went up and then smaller on the top. So it goes bigger and then smaller on top. We press OK, and now we have our lovely seat like so right <coughs> press the home button there we go next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to our 3d model and we're going to go to start a new sketch again on the x and y plane so now we're in the middle from here now we're going to sketch a profile that's going to look something like this using the spline tool so line, I'm going to use the spline, <coughs> sorry, the spline right over here. And we're going to go make it so we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six points. All right? So you're going to do as best as you can, then we're going to dimension them. So we go one, one over here, two, one over here, three. So keep three on one side. And then go, put one over here, four. One over here, five, and one over here, six. Okay, right click and press create. So now we have our spline. Now, do we notice that we don't see it fully? So, what can we do to see it? We could use the slice option. We should have did that from the beginning, to be honest with you. But it's okay. Now we're going to dimension our pieces. So, we're going to go dimension. Again, we go from the center to the first point, and we're going to do the distance. <coughs> which is going to be 10 oops, distance 10.5 right then I could go from if I want to go the opposite side right away from here to here should be how much 10 so now we're getting our overall distance then we go to the next point from here to here should be 
6.5, sorry, okay, and then on the opposite side, we'll do the same one, it should be how much? This one should be, it's not given? Okay, so we don't need this one for now. We're going to do the heights now. Let's go from the center, from here should be how much for the first one? 1.375, right? The second point should be how much? 2, 3.350. There we go. This one we have the distance already placed. Let's do this point. Am I missing a point? No, I think I'm missing a point. Oh, this one's right here. From here to here should be how much? 2.5. That makes more sense. No, I'm doing the one that's close. Oh, sorry, two, this is the wrong one. 2.5. This was 2.5, right? Yeah, I had that, right? You guys said no. This is okay, right? Oh, the vertical, you mean. Okay, thank you. From here to here is how much? 2.15. Okay. From here to here is how much? 2. <coughs> and the height, does it give it? 2.15. So I think I added an extra point. 2.15. I think I don't need this point here. I think I should be able to, to erase this one. You should be able to erase this. If I click on it, right? Right click. If I make it flat, it's not the right one. You should be able to remove the point, correct? So if I click on this point, this is the only one that I did by accident that we don't, oh, we're missing one more dimension. From here to here, this should be how much? One point five. So how would we get rid of this piece? Yes. <coughs> and then our point is perfectly straight. So we saw we right click and we deleted it. And now our, our piece is fully constrained. Correct? Now, now that we have it fully constrained, we press finish sketch. And we're going to extrude. Actually, let me go back to show you one more time the points so everybody's able to see them. So I'll wait a few seconds. So you see here you have the first point which is at 1.375. The height of it is, sorry, the height is 1.375. The width is 10.5. The second point, the width is 6.5. The height is 3.350. The third point is 2.5 from the origin. The height is 2.150. The four, one, two, fourth point is Two from the origin on the right side, and then up 2.150, and the last point, the height is at 1.5, and the distance is at 10. Correct? Good? Perfect. Finish the sketch, and now we're going to use the extrude button. We're going to make sure we're while we're extruding that we go in the middle. So we're going to go do distance in between. Symmetric, sorry. That was right. And we're going to go put 17. Click the profile. Make sure we do surface. That was surface, right? Profile again. So now we have our piece going through. It's important that it goes through. If it doesn't go all the way through, something is wrong with your piece that you just created. So this one here goes through. Now that that's done, we're going to press OK. So now we have a surface added to our piece. So again, the reason why we need to go all the way through the object, because for the next step, for it to work, it has to cut through the whole piece. Now that we've done that, we're going to go expand our surface, which should be up here, and we're going to go look for replace face, which I think is this one. Is this it? No. Extend, sculpt, boundary, trim, repair, replace face. Let me show you the rest now. Ruled surface and stitch surface. So we're going to go use replace face. 
Now you're going to select the face to be replaced. So we're going to take the top one. And now the new face is going to be this one we just built. Like this. All right? And then we're going to press OK. And you notice it's going to make it the groove of that piece that we want to make. So it looks perfectly fine. Once that is done, we're going to hide our extrusion right here. So we don't see it anymore. So I press back the home button. You see it has a nice groove to the seat. Is that clear so far? Now that we've done that, we're going to go use the fillet face. So now we're going to go to the fillet. And before we were using the normal edge, we're going to go switch to the fillet face option. Our first face is going to be the top of our, of our piece. The second face is going to be the side of it. So the, if you're looking at it from the, the right side, click on it. And then once that's done, we're going to type the radius of 1.5. You notice it gives it a curve to the chair, the seat. Press OK. Right? Is everybody at this point so far? Yes. So press Apply. So now that's done. Now we're going to do the same thing to the top, the top surface and the back piece. So again, face one is this piece. Face two is going to be this face. And we're going to type the number of 1.5 apply. So by keeping apply, we keep the command open. If we would have pressed OK, it would have closed it. Now that that's done, we're going to go and press the next one, which is going to be, I think we're using the full rounded fillet, which means we're going to do the fillet all the way across. Using the variable, which is this one, no? So we go back to this one and go to variable. So the first thing we're going to select is variable. And now we're going to go make sure we're on smooth. And we're going to click the edge right over here. So now if you notice, we have it selected. And we're going to go select this point here as well. Oops. Select this point here. And we're also going to get the back side. The other side too? Sound like this? Oh, because I'm doing them all together. That's why. My bad. Let's do it again. Let's go do the, sh the fillet variable. And we're going to do the edges, this piece over here. And it should have been on this point we're playing with. Sorry about that. And now, it, But before, if you notice, it didn't grab the whole piece. It only grabbed the line of it. So that's why I was a little bit confused by it. So now that we've done that, we're going to go to the starting point. And our starting point is going to be what for our start point? Where should the start point be? So right over here. So this is our start point. And what's, should we add another point? So let's go right. There's one point. And the other point should be right over here. Where? This point here. Right here. And the other point is going to be over. Is this two points we need? Okay, so uh, let's redo it again. So again, let's do it one more time. Let's go do the fillet variable. Select the edge. Then you could just click on the point. You click on point. You could click one point here and one point here. Uh, like I said earlier, it doesn't really make a difference because we're going to adjust the points with the positioning here. So if I go put in zero point. 2904. It's going to do it in the correct position and 0 0.6250. 0. You see that's going to move it along the path as well. And for our radiuses, we're going to change them now. For the start, it's going to be 0 0.6. So that's the starting point. So now you're going to see a transition going from bigger to smaller as we change it. The second one, the ending is going to be 0 0.6. Point one is going to be at one inch, so it's getting bigger, and point two is going to be at point eight. So you see the different transition as it's going along. 
Once that's OK, I think we could press OK, right? Let's see, this is OK. Yeah, everything seems OK, right? So we press apply. Now we're we doing the same thing to the other side? No. So now we're going to press OK. Close this. And we're going to mirror this fillet that we just built to the other side. So we're going to click on, click this first. It's easier. Then we're going to go use the mirror tool, which should be over here. And we're going to go use our mirror plane. It's going to be our midpoint, which is, should be the X and Z. Was it not? And I'm going to go to the this way. You just want to make sure you have it the right orientation. So it's going to the other piece. Before I had it going this way, which is wrong, I want to go the opposite side. Press OK. And it worked as well. Because you're equally to each other, it's going to work. If the, there was difference in the size, it would say error does not compute because they're not touching each other. So now that that's done, we have our lovely seat. Correct? Now we're going to start shelling it. So we have a, a cover underneath, so give it some, like a plastic. We're going to go use the shell option, like we've used before. What should we do before we use the shell option? We should file save. Why? Because it's been working so well that I'm scared it's going to crash. Tutorial. Oops. But when, we're, when we are doing the tutorials, is it okay that it crashes? Yes. Why? Because if it crashes, it just gives you another chance to redo it again and again and again until you get faster at what you're doing. In fact, all the ones I've given you in the past, I do recommend that if it's taking you, say, an hour to do it, go back and redo it again. Try to get it done faster. The faster you are, the more precise you are, the better it's going to be. So save it. Now we're on part tutorial 7 and now we're going to go use our shell option so let's go use the shell again which is under the modify and now that we have the shell we're going to go right away put a thickness of 0.2 and we're going to remove the bottom face so this face over here press OK and now you notice we have our 0.2 thickness and our chair going our seat cover once that's done, we're going to go and rotate to the bottom of the face, like this. Now we're going to be creating the boss feature. So in the 3D model again, we're going to go start a sketch. And we're going to choose the bottom face of our piece. So that's going to be this piece here. It's going to be the lip, I guess, or the bottom here. This piece right over here. We're going to click on this face here. So now it's selecting on that, that top face. We're going to go and draw a rectangle. But before we go crazy and start drawing, we're going to make sure that we are in construction format. We're going to grab the center, like we've done before. And we're going to make a rectangle that is 16 by 11. So it goes perfectly inside there. We're going to go press Finish Sketch. If I go look at my previous sketch, did I not press OK? No, I did not press OK. So let's do it again. <laughs> Rectangle from the center. We said we're going to make it a reference. And we said it's going to be 11, nope, 16 by 11. OK? Click on it so it actually draws it. And then press Finish Sketch. Before I jumped a little too fast. All right? So the next thing we're going to do. Once that's complete, we're going to go choose the boss feature, which is going to be under the plastic parts. So if you don't see plastic parts here, we're going to go add it and make sure we add it here, plastic parts. If it starts getting too crowded and you don't see things, you could remove stuff. Like for now, we're not using the stress. So let's go remove the simulation one. We're going to take off the convert one. So you could kind of make it to what works for you. So we have plastic part on, which is at the back here of what we need. We're going to go use the boss feature, which is going to be this icon over here. But again, you, if you look, you have the grill, which you're going to use later on. Then you have the snap fit. Then you have the rule fillet. Then you have the lip. Then you have the 
rest, and then the one we want, which is the boss. So we're going to go click on that piece over here. From there, once we have that done, we're going to click on the thread option. So right over here. So now we're in the options. This is the thread, and before we had just the head. Now we're going to do select from the sketch. So select from sketch, which is already triggered. And we're going to go choose the points right here. One point, two point, three point, four points. So we're going to go choose, we have the sketch, centers. We're going to go choose one point, two point, three, four. Do we need one in the middle? No. So we have our four points placed nicely on our piece. If you notice, it's going in the down direction because our plane was above. From there now, we're going to change the thread, and we're going to make sure that we do full depth. We're going to go put 0.4. Here's going to be 0.2. One degree is OK. And we're going to leave it at two degrees. So you notice it's kind of giving it a nicer shape. I'll zoom in so you can see it. Then we're going to go to the rib feature. And we're going to make it stiffening rib so it gets a little bit, starts having a little wings. And we're going to go put it at three. So we have three of them. We're going to make this at point 0.12. Two, uh, 2.5 degrees is OK. 0.4 is OK. 0.08 is OK. Zero inches. 0.8 it is. It already is 0.8. Oh, sorry. Point, it should be 0.8, my bad. There we go. So they go a little bit lower. And this degree, we're going to change it to five. A little bit smaller, and we are okay with the fillet options. We're going to open it up, and we're going to change it to 0 0.04. So they're getting fillet, and 0 0.04 again. Okay, and we're going to press OK. If you notice we have one, two, three, four pieces already completed for us. So now we have our nice four pieces that we built. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the lip feature, like I said earlier. So now we're going to go back to the lip feature, which was over in plastics over here, which is the lip feature. Now this one gets a little bit tricky. We're going to make sure you have the second option selected for the lip. And you're going to select the outer edge of the bottom face. So that's going to be this edge over here. All right. And then afterwards, you're going to click on Guide Face. And you're going to make sure that you select the bottom face of the model, which is which one, guys? Which is this one over here, which is to give us that nice lift. So again, this was the first point, and then the guide face is going to be this face over here at the bottom. Once that's selected, you're going to go to use the lip option, and we're going to put it at 10 degrees, 2 degrees for the second part, for the width. Then you're going to put point 0.12. 0, 0.1, and 0 over here. So you notice it's adjusting the lip <coughs> that we're building. This is the preview button. If this was off, it wouldn't show it. It would just show you the profile here. So that's what we're making. But having the preview on, it's going to show you that that's how it's going to cut all the way through. Once you're complete, you press OK. And if you notice now, we have a lip going across our seat. Nice. The next step we're going to do, once we've created this, you press the home button, is we're going to hit save to get the habit of saving your work every so often. Okay. The last couple of steps we're going to do now is we're going to create the grill. The grill is going to be a little bit fun if, you, if it goes perfectly as planned. So we're going to start a new sketch. So we're going to do a sketch, right? And we're going to create a sketch on the back inclined face, which means this is the front, which means we're going to go here and click on this face right over here. We could rotate if it bugs us, or we could leave it. If you want to rotate it. So how should we rotate it? We go on the, there's no arrows here anymore. Arrows are gone. Left, where have to, make? there we go. So just click on left, and you'll be able to draw on that face. All right? So now that we have that nice face, we're going to go do what? Build another rectangle. 
We'll use the center point again. We're going to use the two point. We're going to start one point from this corner here, right? And the other one from this corner over here. And then we're going to dimension. Do we give it dimensions? So it should be, this should be 8. This should be from here to here. Oops. From here to here. Oops. I think it's right at an angle, I guess. What's the number it should be? 1.5. And what should be the... And we added another line now. So we'll, should we do the offset so it's faster? Or just draw a line across? Line across? Oops. And we should have how many lines? One, two, two lines. So we should go one here. I could just do the offset, but I would just draw the line. One here and one on the opposite side. So now we have the two, we have the one, two, three, four lines. Do we have to dimension them again? Yes. So there should be a spacing of how much? What is it? Point 0.5 or point? Yeah, point 0.5. And this one here should be how much? Point 0.5, which means this one here should automatically be point 0.5. And it won't even let me do it. So now we have the grill set. We have to, that's it, right? Oh, we didn't uh, dimension the bottom. From here to here should be how much? Point four seven five. So now our grill is perfectly placed, and it's only thing that's missing are these two here. So does it affect us? What dimension are we missing? Hmm. So we'll do that. We'll draw a line. We'll do construction. We'll do a construction line from this point here, which should be our middle. Go down like this, and we'll just make these ones concentric. Good. All right. So now it's perfectly. Hopefully, that was the middle of our piece. Okay, now that that's done, the next step we're going to go is use our finished sketch. Use our grill option right over here. It already has our piece selected. I guess we're going to go. And we're going to make sure our profile is the one we just built. There we go. So we have our profile. And let's go type in 0 0.08. And then this one here is 0 0.4. OK. And then we're going to go switch to the rip tab and select these guys. One, two. And the rib is going to be at point 15, point 0.15, 0. Press OK. And now, if you look, we vented out our seat. Okay, you could do anything else to play with it. But that's all for this tutorial, and that's all for the piece. So just hit Save. Again, that's all for the Chapter 5 Additional Modeling Tools. The next thing we're going to work on is going to be on welding. Thank you again. Share, subscribe, and click the little bell.